1997, the Zetas provided sky coordinates where the Nibiru complex, the corpus and its moon swirls, could be found when viewed from the northern hemisphere. This was drawn as a map in the sky, showing the route near the constellation of Orion, below the ecliptic, and moving into position for a passage. The Zetas provided specific coordinates from 1997 to 2003 to aid amateur astronomers in their search. In 2001, the red complex was sighted in observatories. In 2002, it was imaged in infrared and captured on CCD images. By early 2003, seen naked eye just to the right of Orion in the late evening. Of course, these were all amateur efforts. Lately, the fact of Nibiru's presence has become undeniable, though the establishment is still not openly admitting this fact. Nibiru, with its close-hugging dominant moon swirls, forming a double helix on either side. This can be seen daily from a webcam in Italy. While observatories and astronomers ridiculed any amateur who imaged the Nibiru complex and discouraged the use of their equipment for any kind of search, Google Sky had a larger problem. It was available to the public. To deal with this, the establishment blocked out the sky where Nibiru could be found with a black box. But in 2008, there was a leak. Suddenly, the Google Sky Block has been released, and there it is, right where the Zetas predicted it would be. This Zeta prediction was made in 1997, as is well documented. Indeed, as the Nibiru complex was tracked inbound, the coordinates given regularly by the Zetas proved to be correct. Zetas right again. Google was directed by the cover-up in place since the days of Roswell by Reagan's executive order to block access to this spot. Obama lifted the National Security Directive in 2012 and has been attempting to inform the public via an announcement. That Google has stepped ahead to release its black box could be considered a form of a slow or creeping announcement. Zeta Talk. Note the constellation Eridanus, shown on the Google Sky Maps, is one just to the right of Orion and down from Orion. And the raw and deck for the location also match Zeta Talk. Now the public can watch the approach of this monster magnetic planet, four times the diameter of Earth and much more massive. Is this Nibiru on the Google Sky images? Yes. This spot has been long covered by a black box in Google Sky. We showed Nibiru to the right of Orion near the Eridanus constellation, which equates to the verbal description we have long given those seeking to see the Nibiru complex as being at the 4 o'clock position to the sun when viewed from the northern hemisphere. Zeta Talk.